Hello, I'm Shaquaja Olson. And I'm Jason Walls. We are Computer Information Systems students at Livingstone College. Today we will be presenting a video discussing minority women in information technology. We were introduced to this idea by a professor in class while discussing NCWIT, formerly known as the National Center for Women in Technology. NCWIT works to correct the imbalance of gender diversity in technology and computing. Gender diversity positively correlates with a larger workforce, better innovation, and increased business performance. Increasing the number of women in technology and computing also has the potential to improve the design of products and services to better serve a more diverse population and increase economic and social well-being by providing more women with stable and beneficial careers. Sit With Me was created by members of NCWIT with creative direction from marketing and branding firm BBMG. Sit with us as we review some of the ideas presented while discussing minority women in IT. I have not considered CIS as a major error. CIS has never really interested me in any type of form or fashion. My name is Raina Kowale. I am a senior and my major is criminal justice and psychology. My name is Quinn Redfern. I'm a graduating senior and I'm a business major. My name is Omar Floyd Bay. I'm a graduate and senior with a major in accounting. I'm also a member of the men's basketball team at Livingstone and also a member of Alpha Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Have you ever seriously considered CIS as a major? No. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, yes, I actually have. But, um, when I came to Livingstone, I had already began in my major accounting. But, um, I took a liking to uh, computers, and uh, the CIS department attracted me, so I made CIS my minor. Why didn't you choose CIS as a major? Um, first, because I sucked on computers, and um, it wasn't exposed to me as a child, let alone coming to school. It wasn't it just wasn't exposed. I didn't choose that as a major because I feel like when you major in something for four years, you have to be dedicated and determined to do it. And computer wasn't really one of my expertise in high school, so I knew that I wouldn't want to major in that for four whole years and learn about that in college. I wanted to rather put myself in something that I knew would interest me for four years. I didn't go that route because computers aren't really my thing. I'm really more of an English type person. I came a little too late and I didn't have the time to really, you know, make CIS my major, so I definitely wanted to get involved and uh, get any type of certificate or minor degree or an experience with computers that I could, so, you know, I was able to make CIS my minor. I was very happy that I'm happy that I made that decision. So when you think about computers and CIS as a major, what comes to mind? Nerdy, geeky type of people. Complication. <laughs> when I think about that, what comes to mind is intelligence because it takes a lot of intelligence to know a computer. And when I, myself, when I have problems with computers, I call my friend Shikwaja because I know she knows the inside and out of a computer. And she knows what goes into fixing from the littlest problems to the biggest problems. And besides fixing it, is knowing it, how to, you know, do programs as simple as Microsoft to bigger programs that I don't know, I'm not even aware of. So I just think intelligence is what really is, comes to mind when I think about computers. Um, the, the advancement of, of technology. So when you think about computers and say yes as a major, what comes to mind? Um, initially, I thought about you know problems, a bunch of numbers, and a bunch of programming and things like that. But actually, uh, CS is actually a fun major. You know, it's fun doing different programs and creating different things, or you realizing what it takes to go into something that you see the you usually see the final result, but you now you I see the beginning and what it takes to you know develop that or you know all the type of codes and things like that that has to go into it. I'm T. Ray Campbell, Assistant Professor, CIS, Livingstone College. What are some of the challenges you face in the computing field? Challenges? 
one of the biggest is really getting the opportunity to introduce the level, the type of technology that's available or that's required in the industry for students. Um, it, it, we have to prepare students to get on into the working world. And one of the challenges is really to introduce the kind of technology that it's expected for them to use day one when they go out into the working world. From your experience, what advice would you have for young women as they enter the world of IT? Young women? Uh, I would think that um, for them to be able to be functional the first day in the working world is grasp the opportunities in, 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 in college that will help them to get a better, a, a global picture of the requirements and the needs for women in technology. Women has always taken a second position or back position, but it's changing. And what they have to do, I would imagine, is to see that as a springboard and use the opportunities to learn as much as possible to compete with, with males in, in, the, in the working world. So they shouldn't, they shouldn't be scary or, you know, feel that they don't want to get involved into the mathematical end of, of computing or you know, technology, but to be open-minded and um, go for it. What can be done, in your opinion, to increase the number of women who chose CIS as a major? I think the problem starts where we have to address the problem of math. Women, generally speaking, are intimidated when it comes to numbers, and that is where I think the problem lies. They have to be open-minded and realize that Tech computing or technology is not all numbers. Just that there are many different areas within technology that they could fit in. But they have to be open minded and realize that numbers don't kill you. And once they get over that phobia, then they can they can do it. My name is Marquia Fox. I'm a senior and my major is computer information systems. Tyrone here. I'm a junior. I'm computer information systems. Chanel Ware, Jr. Computer Information System. What are some of the challenges you face in the computing field? Some of the challenges I face in the computer field are with some classes like Java, COBOL, and programming C++. Just because the work is tedious, you have to take your time and do it, make sure there's no mistakes, or you have to start all over again. Some of the challenges that I face in the computer field are intro to computer programming, like programming basically. Uh, some of the challenges I face in the computer field uh, are programming. Uh, programming is a very tedious monster and uh, that's been my biggest challenge in the computer field. Have you felt any prejudice or been in any situations that may have made you feel unwelcome? No. Do you think it's because you are here at Livingston College? Yes. Uh, no, I actually had it. Do you think it's because you are here at Livingston College? Uh, well, while here at Livingston College, my uh, computer information systems um, deal has been pretty well. It's been, it's been pretty well organized. I uh, deal with Dr. Mullen and Mr. Campbell uh, specifically. And they tend to keep things organized. Yes, I have. And some of those situations were with students, like other students, males, so to say. They, because I am a female in the computing field, they treat me as though I am inferior to them and that I don't know anything just because I am a woman. Do you think it's because you are here at Livingstone College? No, I feel like it would happen anywhere. What can be done in your opinion to increase the number of young women who chose CIS as a major? Um, to me, I would personally say you have to start early, you know, uh, because like I said myself, I really didn't understand or, you know, know what CIS was about or, you know, the possibilities and the opportunities that CIS can present to you. So uh, the thing is you want to get CIS out there to the, you know, to young ladies, um, 
to uh, young females and let them know what they can do and, you know, the opportunities that they can set their life up with because, you know, the sales department and different sales jobs are, you know, well paying. I feel like more women would choose it if it were introduced to them as a gender neutral field. I definitely think uh, it needs to start uh, a lot younger, um, maybe middle school. Um, by the time people get to college, they already have a good idea of what they want to do or what they may think they're good at. Uh, and I think to start a lot younger with uh, young girls in middle school and high school would be exactly what's necessary. Catherine Molin chair of the Computer Information Systems Department at Livingstone College. What are some of the challenges you face in the computing field? I think one of the major challenges I have faced has been mainly dealing with being the only female and oftentimes the only minority participating in computing activities, whether that's in a business meeting, whether that's at a conference, or whether that's in the classroom even. From your experience, what advice would you have for young women as they enter the world of IT? Well, I would tell them certainly there are many opportunities out there for women, especially underrepresented groups of women. I would encourage them to uh, be prepared, do their research, do their classwork, do their classwork well, and understand that they might face challenges, but not to let that distract them from the opportunities that exist in the field for women. What can be done in your opinion to increase the number of young women who chose CIS as a major? Well, I think part of it starts before young girls get into college. I believe it starts at K-12, but I also think it is important for us as faculty in CIS to observe our, our attitudes as professors towards women and other underrepresented populations so that they can change their attitudes about whether or not they belong in this particular field. If we as faculty are embracing, engaging, and encouraging young women and underrepresented populations, I believe we would see a rise in those who come into the major but also those who graduate from the major. Sometimes you have to sit to take a stand. Sit With Me invites you to validate and recognize the important role women play in creating future technology by taking a small but symbolic action. Sit in a red chair and share your story. Oh, <laughs> 